This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 16, Collision Detection, Part 10. Alright, I see a bunch of code, and like always, I'm not waiting, I want to see. Oh, is this the one we were making? I think so. Boop. Go, frog, go. Alright, and then are we adding animations? I guess, alright. So, let's see what we're doing here. Uh, improve your game. Now that you know, and if you didn't have that, if your game isn't your game, that means you haven't done the previous lessons. I think at the end of 15, this was what we were working on. So you need to go back and do that because it builds. You're not going to be able to do this without having done the previous uh, parts. Now that you know how to use the is touching and play sound, you can make some fun things happen when your sprite run into runs it, when your sprites run into each other. Note. The play sound block now has an extra parameter called loop that can be set to true false. If this parameter is true, the sound will continue to play in a loop. So we can keep sound going forever, which I'm sure my students love and to blast on their uh, computers. But anyways, do this. Add at least two effects when your sprites collide. Challenge, add a scoreboard to the top of your screen. Alrighty. So that means we need something in our if. How are we going to detect? collision hmm so to detect collision we need an if statement like we had been doing before in this lesson I'm gonna grab this if and drop it here way at the bottom and then we're going to sprite and is touching okay I want to know if my frog is that what I named him Yep, see this variable? That's where we set the variable name and we assign it to frog. Variable mushroom. Okay, if frog is equal to mushroom. Not equal, I mean is touching the mushroom. Mushroom. All right, so is frog touching the mushroom? If so, what do we want to do? Add at least two effects when they collide. If they're touching, I want... Oh, this is difficult. What do we want to happen? Control. Play sound is touching. I don't really want to do the sound. Oh my gosh, I know. If they're touching, I am changing the background. What is the background right now? Bill Burrywood. Oh no, no. Sky blue. Um, I don't know. Why don't we make this guy red? That's kind of terrifying. So if they're touching, oh no, can we do the... Nope, red is what it's going to be. So once they touch, the sky is red, and then the... Mm -hmm. Ooh. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to decrease the mushroom speed. So it's easier to jump over them. So they start at negative 2, which is going left. The x velocity is going to go down. We're going to do negative 1. Okay? And then make sure this is mushroom. And then we are going to... Fine, I'll play a sound. But I have my sound disabled for videos, so you're not actually going to be able to hear it. But I promise it will be playing. I'm going to drop play sound. And then I'm going to pick from theirs. Choose. New animals. Oh, yeah. We're going to play a bear sound. Done. And then play sound. True. So it plays when they are touching. Okay. And those are going to be my two elements. Let me go ahead and hit run. And notice the mushroom does slow down when we hit it. If you don't believe me that this is working, I am now going to do the change background thing. Um, red. Reset. Red. But uh So it is definitely working. And it's covering everything, too. Because we're doing it way down here right before we draw sprites. One of the reasons I don't want that. All right, and the sound is playing. You cannot hear it because I have that disabled. I want to do the second part of this. Oop, reset. I already got rid of that code, which is add a scoreboard to the top of your screen. Challenge time.
So we're going to need to go over to text. And if you want to help, if you go back to the last one, you can kind of look at their code. We're going to go to text and we're going to set text. We need to draw it after the background. So I'm going to draw it right here. Okay. Now, what am I going to set this equal to? Well, I need to create, oops, a variable. Variable right up here. I'm going to say score. And at first, it's going to be equal to, well, zero. I haven't earned anything yet. Okay. And now, let's see, text. Let's go ahead and use some of this. We're going to fill the text. Let's have the font be black. And then text size. I want to be able to see it. So let's say 20 and then let's have um we want the word score before it with a colon and i'm going to set this to the top left which is like yep 5 5 maybe 5 5 and then just giving it its height and width 20 and 20 okay and then i need room for the variable we created so now i'm going to do text again drop it right there i'm going to name this my variable we named our variable score variables do not need quotes around them so this is the score we created okay and then i'm going to have this be over a bit so this is going to be like 70 right it's going to be over here some so it doesn't block our uh word score over and then same size 20 and 20 okay so that's going to draw the score now Oh, where's my random text thing? Oops, somehow one ended up down here. Um, all right, so that's going to draw the score. Yep, perfect. Now we want to update it. When should we update it? Well, we want to update it. We can have the frog hit the mushrooms or not hit the mushrooms. It's kind of up to you. When the frog, let's say the frog is eating the mushrooms. So I can have a score every time the frog eats the mushroom or every time the frog jumps. It's totally up to us. So I'm going to say, um, nope, I'm actually just going to add a score anytime they jump. And I'm not going to detect is touching, right? I'm not going to say the frog is eating the mushroom. I'm just going to say if they're jumping. You can do it if the frog's touching the mushroom. That's fine too. It's your game. So now variable x, no, I want to do score, okay? And score is going to equal score, but I want to add to it one point each time. Okay. So let's go ahead and why is this grumpy? Oh, I don't need, yes. I shouldn't define it again. I should just use this. I'm going to grab that, drop that in there, get rid of that. Once you make a variable with VAR, you don't need to do that again. It's already defined. So score, yep, let's hit run. So nope, nothing there, but one. And it's going to go back down and frog jump two, And I can even do something wild. Get ready for this. If I want is touching a mushroom to increase the score as well. Sure. I can do that. Score. Math. Plus. Or maybe minus. Let's do that. Hey, if you're touching a mushroom, it's going to be score minus two. Reset run. Oh, oh my goodness. Obviously, that might be a bit intense, especially since I'm only earning one while jumping. But I think you get the idea. So let's just check. I'm going to hit reset here that we made all of the thing. At least two effects definitely added the scoreboard. We got it. Awesome. So again, here's the code I was using. This is most of what I did down here. I did add that scoreboard. But largely that code is on the last level, level nine. So there is my code. And great, I think we're ready for lesson 17. I'm excited to see what we're learning next.